Unfortunately, yes. we start this morning with more sad news. A uh, deadly shooting in Kentucky, America's 15th mass killing this year. That's right. The numbers are staggering. At least five people were killed and nine others injured after a gunman opened fire yesterday at Old National Bank in downtown Louisville. Police say the shooter was 25-year-old bank employee Connor Sturgeon, who they say live-streamed the incident on social media. Sturgeon was killed in a gunfight with police. In an emotional press conference, Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir paid tribute to the victims, one of whom he said he knew personally. Tommy Elliott helped me build my law career, helped me become governor, gave me advice on being a good dad. It's one of the people I talk to most in the world and very rarely are we talking about my job. He was an incredible friend. NBC News senior national correspondent Jay Gray joins us now from Louisville. Clearly there we saw gun violence touches everyone and it's sobering that we're starting our morning talking about this, Jay. Still, though, each tragedy is unique. So can you first just walk us through how this incident unfolded and what police are saying about the suspect and his motives? Yeah, Zing Plan, unfortunately, mass shootings uniquely American at this point, happening here more than anywhere else in the world combined. I want you to take a look at where it all unfolded. You can see the boarded up windows and doors here shattered by gunfire during what witnesses describe as an intense firefight between police who arrived uh, just three minutes after the first 911 call and that suspect who walked into work yesterday morning with a rifle and open fire four people killed during the attack of fifth succumbing to her wounds at the hospital overnight uh, police stormed in and following uh, the incident began to gather evidence uh, pulling several bags of evidence uh, from the bank here but also uh, from the suspect's home including a computer there's been no word yet uh, from investigators on a potential motive here but clearly that's what they are looking for and, and Zen Clay unfortunately it's what so many of us ask after each one of these shootings why why did it happen yeah why i mean really no answers there and jay as we mentioned some of the victims were close friends of kentucky governor andy Bashir. tributes have been pouring in for these victims and their families what more can you tell us about them who they were and the condition of those injured Yeah, and look, all of these victims uh, have been described by friends as people who were very involved in the community here, who were active in their faith. You saw the governor emotional as he talked about his friend that was lost, another friend of the governor injured here. And all of them, again, people uh, that in this community were well respected. What you'll hear locals say here is that Louisville is a big, small town. And many telling us yesterday that if you didn't know someone who was inside the bank at the time of the attack, you likely know someone who knew those inside. So it's a tight knit community and it's struggling. It's suffering right now. And Jay, what's the reaction been like from the White House? Of course, this is following another mass shooting in Nashville just recently. What are they saying? Yeah, we were at the school in Nashville uh, just a week or so ago. The White House then and now obviously condemning the attack and saying that uh, there needs to be stronger gun measures put in place. Let's look at, at a social media post from the president yesterday. Uh, president Biden tweeting, once again, our nation mourns after a senseless act of gun violence. Jill and I pray for the lives lost and impacted by today's shooting. Too many Americans are paying for the price of inaction with their lives. When will Republicans in Congress act to protect our co communities? And that echoed during the White House briefing yesterday by the press secretary. Listen to what she had to say. Once again, today, the president has called on Republicans in Congress to work together with Democrats to take action to ban assault weapons and high-capacity magazines, to require safe storage of firearms, to require background checks for all gun sales, to eliminate gun manufacturers' immunity from liability. These are common sense actions we can, we can ask for and should be getting right now. 
Yeah, and, and unfortunately, as the political debate continues, so do the mass shootings and, and deaths uh, across the country. Zinclé, it, it's tough, and and maybe uh, one of the worst parts about all of this is it's not surprising anymore. Well, we're definitely keeping the community in our prayers. Jay Gray, thank you so much. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.